Welcome back to Jewel Shock's playthrough of Silent Hill 1. I hear I'm still tipsy. It's not me. You're gonna be tipsy for several videos. Probably. I've still got. Actually, I'm down to like a quarter of a bottle of meat now. I'm very unhappy. Oh, that was a doctor I killed. You bastard. Oh, no. Wait, are we down on the ground floor now? Oh, we are down on the ground floor. It's the only one that worked. Because Americans, you know, number their floors differently to us. They do, yeah. Actually, I can't remember if it's either we're the odd ones or America are the odd ones. Or not. I, can't I know America are the odd ones in dating. Yes. And in the weight system, because they're the only ones who are not They're the only ones that do month, day, year, rather than day, month, year. Yeah, and they do pound stone as against kilos and grams. Does no one else do pound stone? I think some people do, but it's generally accepted that metric's the way to go. Huh. The metric system's boss. It's like measuring stuff in yards. Who measures stuff in yards anymore? Ooh. Oh, you get the hammer now that we're never going to use again. Hammer time. Yeah, it's really slow. It's slow. It would be good if it had some practical application, like this door is blocked, it's hammer time, but no. <laughs> if it was a bit more, uh, what was it, surrounding conscious, as if you hit something and, it, and like a wall took damage or something. Yeah. Oh shit. I Great didn't, job. I didn't know that one behind me was in the dark. At least I didn't get it. Like, that wasn't Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's not like you've ever played this before, is it? I didn't know it was behind me. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in this room as well. Oh, wow, they're both coming in the fast. Yeah. Stop aiming at that one! God almighty. I think I'm about to die as well. Oh no, I healed from last time, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, you've taken like no damage. Oh. This isn't even easy mode anymore. Oh. In Silent Hill 3 was easy combat. This is normal. Yeah, and for those of you that aren't obsessive compulsive, you might notice that our number of bullets and health strengths have severely gone up from the last video. Oh, oh, yeah. Namely because he actually followed a walkthrough to get back to this point, and apparently we missed an ass ton of stuff. Oh yeah, when we went straight to the church when the story told us to, hmm. uh, the gas station opposite the road was actually had an open door and you can walk in and you can take like 60 bullets and stuff. Wow. And there's a point, you know when you bring the drawbridge is it drawbridge? Yeah, the bridge down to get to the other side of town. Yeah. Um, there was a room underneath the main part that was useless. There was nothing there and we couldn't figure out why. Mm. Apparently when you beat the game and go back in there, there's a rock a drill, a rock drill or something. An extra Jackhammer. Weapon. Something like that where you get an extra weapon. What, like playthrough plus? Yes. Cool. You can also get a chainsaw and stuff like that. So, like, even back in Silent Hill 1, there was alternate endings depending on what playthrough you were on. Yes, I think there are... There's either four or five endings to this. <laughs> That's awesome! There's, I mean... like, there's, like, good ending, really good ending, then there's bad ending and really bad ending. Something like that. A pretty big deal is made out of games these days when they've got, like, moral choice systems and stuff like that, like Infamous. And I'm not doubting Infamous and Bioshock in the slightest, but... When it comes down to games like this had such in-depth endings and alternate routes and stuff like that without even rubbing in your face, everything else kind of has to step it up a gear to even compete, don't they? Yeah, and you don't get games like this much anymore. No. I mean, I mean the uh, closest we've come is um, Amnesia in terms of horror. Well, you've played them and I haven't, so you can pretty much tell me what you think of comparison-wise. In terms of the best horror game I've ever played, that probably comes down to Amnesia Dark Descent, because that's the only game ever, ever, that I have had to put down and go, I need to take some time away from this to calm down before I can start playing again. Does it really mess you up that bad? It does. Oh, this is the room with the blood pack. There it is. There we go. That's what we missed first time around, and this is apparently a game-breaking item. Oh, god, gotcha. yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh... Amnesia the Dark Descent is so nerve-wracking, at least from my perspective, that whenever I was playing on my own, there were definitely times that I had to stop 
and calmed down and actually took great effort to get to pick up the game again. The second one, not so much, isn't it? I've heard people say no. that it's just not the same. That they've ruined a perfect uh, formula. Yeah. Yeah. The second one not that is I've heard not it's scary in the slightest. I just heard it, it's more a bit dumbed down. Oh, I, I wouldn't say it's a bad game, but it's not an amnesia game. It's it's not because amnesia one. It's still worth playing though, I guess. Yeah. But well, is, not is if you've it... played Amnesia 1. If you've played Amnesia 1, don't fork out the ridiculous amount more money to play Amnesia 2. I remember you telling me that it was obvious when you were going to get attacked in the second one because suddenly there were places you could hide. Not even that. There was never a place you could hide. Whoa! What was that? What? There's a huge crashing sound as I left the room. Oh. <laughs> the disadvantage is ah. having no volume. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I, I do intend to play Amnesia at some point, probably on film with you watching. Not helping, just laughing. Oh yeah, pretty much. I, I wouldn't help. Uh, except for maybe when you've got to do a bit of alchemy, because there was a bit that I got stuck because I genuinely didn't know what I had to do next, if and I it was actually quite complicated. To the point that it's not entertaining, then yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. But yeah, with Amnesia 2, I mean, Amnesia 1 was brilliant. There were monsters. You could not fight them. Your only option was to run and or hide. And that was pretty much it. You had to hide in the darkness. You had to soak up the insanity because you had an insanity meter. And the more you spent in darkness, the more you saw horrific things, the worse your insanity got. And if you suffered too much in a certain period of time, you would actually collapse and be completely vulnerable to attack. Oh, bit. That was brilliant. That's so Lovecraftian of having your own mind playing tricks on you. And not just that, but the more your insanity meter build up, the more your mind will play tricks on you. Like, for instance, not many people notice this on the first playthrough, but you look on the pictures of the wall and they're normal pictures on the wall. If you look at them again with a full insanity meter, they are horribly distorted and freakish looking. Oh, that's cool. And it's brilliant. Amnesia 2 has no insanity meter. Oh, but that's just it. But, but, that's like the big plus of Amnesia 1, just completely throwing out the window right away. Didn't they also, it also take away like flashlight batteries or something like that? No, oh, there was some sort of light yes. source. Or something. You had a gas lamp. Ooh. You had a gas lamp in Amnesia 1. In Amnesia 2, you have an unlimited lamp. There's there's no resource here. There, there's not even a health bar. There's, it's, it's uh, what's it called? Re, um, recharging health. So there's. You don't have to watch your insanity, you don't have to watch your health, you don't have to watch your gas levels. That's the majority of the stress straight out of the window. Another thing is, there's no hiding mechanic in Amnesia 2. You face a monster, you you just run. Oh, that's you either get to the Yeah, you either get to the corridor and survive, or you don't and you die and try again. But that doesn't it isn't that what adds to part of the the fear is, oh god, I might be caught, and if I am, I'm totally screwed. Exactly, that's it. In Amnesia 2, there is no repercussion for dying. Really, you die, you start the instant death section again. Oh, God. That's it. Done. I thought the first one, don't you get sent back really far if you, if you die? If you haven't saved it, you get sent back a fucking far away in the first one. It's got an auto feature, but it's the typical PC gaming of you need to be aware of when the game has saved. Well, sort of thing. at the same time, I can perfectly imagine if they'd just released the same mechanics again, just with different maps, people would have complained mm. that they hadn't tried anything new. But, uh, I don't know. No, Amnesia 2 seemed to actively cut out gameplay features. Anything that built up suspense, anything that you had, any resource management, any insanity, any... They didn't even have different monsters. I mean, Amnesia 1 had like two, three different kinds of monsters. Amnesia 2 had one. That was just pigmen. That was it. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. There's one monster in the game. Well, there's pigmen and giant mechanical pigmen that you push a button and they die. Jeez. Okay, a bit late for this, but spoiler alert. There's giant mechanical pigmen, you pull a lever, they die. What? That's it. Wait, what was that? Anyway. Oh, that wait, rant, no, this is a big clue. It is. But um, we shall continue with this next time you join us. So, yay! Bye bye! <laughs>
Yeah, I'm going to make a cup of tea. I'm going to go for a piss.